So telecoms companies are the most vulnerable businesses in Britain to cyber attacks and yet they spend the least on defending themselves against hackers. Mobile and broadband providers were found to be most at risk of being attacked by hackers. Dr Ali De Cantana is lecturer in cybersecurity and forensics from the University of Salford. Thanks for coming in. Telecoms companies, do they just think this is a sort of ethereal thing? It's not real, it's not tangible, so there's not much point in spending money on it. Is that it? Well, Anne, uh, thanks for getting me in here today. Uh, actually, I am not really agree with this statement that they are the most vulnerable mm. industries out there. They are the most known vulnerable industry out there ah. because we do have a lot of other industries who are not aware of how vulnerable they are. But you know, we got to look into both sides of the story. Telco companies are quite vast with lots of access from different places. And you know, they are putting their staffs on different locations and those things should work for years. You cannot update them, you cannot touch them for years. So, of course, there would be some vulnerabilities there. That should be resolved, that should be uh, uh, patched. But honestly, I am agree and I'm supporting your second part of a statement that they are not investing enough in security. Yeah, they don't. They don't. You know, considering the amount of budget that they put on all other things, they are not giving enough attention to the security, unfortunately. Is it that they're behind the times? They just haven't got enough people who, who are telling them that this is a real risk? They do. Pretty much they do, you know. The thing is, um, when you are even looking to the uh, salaries that they offer to the people, the security people, to join the companies and compare them, for example, with what they can get in the financial sector, you're not even finding the telcos in what we call it attractive enough mm. for security experts to join. So mm. what they usually get are fresh graduates or starters. So they are not really getting out what they're supposed to have, right? Considering how vastly they are uh, susceptible to different types of attacks. So I totally agree with you that they got to change their viewpoint. They got to look into security really seriously. I am happy that these recent attacks got to the headline of news. That would change many CEOs viewpoint, I hope. You know, when you look into that, you're just asking yourself, so where are we going to? Mm. Isn't it the case that we got to invest a lot more on other services instead of just coming and following the headlines? But it is good that we got few of those telco companies on the headlines. <laughs> right? Dr. Ali Degantana, thank you very thank much you. for coming in. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Cheers.